Back at home, walking, running, and trotting to raise awareness for bleeding and clotting disorders. We can walk, run, or trot all to help stop blood clots. The tenth annual Run, Walk, or Trot to Stop Blood Clots 5K has raised more than $18,000 for the Deborah Hubbard II Foundation. Hundreds of participants could either run, walk, or trot a 5K or do a 1K walk. Christy Hubbard started the foundation in 2014 after losing her 19-year-old son to a blood clot. Some symptoms of blood clots include swelling, flu-like symptoms, and struggling to breathe. She says blood clots happen suddenly, which is why education is so important. I think he would be proud of our family. Yep, I think he would be because this takes a village to do this. And these are people who loved him, um, who love us, and, her, and have family members who are, are alive today because of what we've been doing in his honor. So he would feel pretty good about that. And the foundation hosted their first ever Black Tie Red Cause Gala, a night for blood clot awareness tonight at the Embassy Suites by Hilton East Peoria. It featured a speaker from the National Blood Clot Alliance. And according to the Alliance, one person dies from a blood clot every six minutes. Well, 